Hello everybody, Wild Bill for America here with a story to make you smile. Up near Athens, Georgia, three punks tried a home invasion robbery only to be chased off by a pug. Three teens kicked down a baby gate to get into the house and when they ran in waving a gun yelling, give it up, the little dog charged into battle and that's all it took for them to flee empty handed. <laughs> chased off by a pug. I hope all your friends see this video. Now two points that I want to make about this story is first of all, these teenagers are criminals, violent criminals. They are not disturbed children with low self-esteem. They belong in jail, not in therapy with some liberal metrosexual telling them that the reason they did the robbery was because Donald Trump stole the election. Criminals need to be treated like criminals so that they learn not to be criminals. Point number two is that you really don't need an attack dog. All dogs have a protective instinct, especially when it comes to their family inside their home. I cringe when people buy trained attack dogs and put up a sign that says beware of dog. That is proof that you knew the dog was dangerous. I had a friend in Colorado who had a pit bull that was so crazy mean she had to feed it Prozac so it would let her in the house. That's just a disaster waiting to happen. Now, the best dog for the home, in my opinion, is a Lab or a Jack Russell Border Collie. Sporting dogs that have a solid reputation for being everybody's friend. And then if something bad happens, just watch how fast they get between you and an intruder. I love dogs. They are truly man's best friend, but just like people, there are some you need to stay away from. This is Wild Bill for America saying, thank you, Lord, for killer pugs. Thanks for watching, and America, bless God, again.